Hey guys, it's Josh and welcome to Let's Talk About, the series in which I talk about the things that are going through my head. So today I'm going to be talking about my Euro 2020 predictions. So there is a predictor thing um, on the UEFA Euro 2020 website and so I thought it's a bit of fun I would do my predictions. So without further ado, let's just get them up. I've got the Portugal game on in the background so that might throw some of these predictions into disarray if um, the result goes an odd way in that, but it shouldn't do, because I don't think, I don't think Hungary's going to beat Portugal, I think it would get, take a bloody miracle for that to happen, so let's just get them up now, tournament predictor, and here we go, so as you can see now, here is my prediction for Group A, so we have Italy, Wales, Switzerland, Turkey, and now Group B, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, Russia. This is in um, descending order, so first to fourth. Group C, Netherlands, Austria, Ukraine, North Macedonia. Group D, England, Scotland, Croatia, Czech Republic. Group E, Spain, Poland, Sweden, Slovakia. Group F. Portugal, France, Germany, Hungary. And the third place qualifiers, Germany, Croatia, Ukraine and Sweden. So, that is my predictions for the group stage. Now, let me just explain. In Group A, we have Italy winning it. Now, I think the current Italian squad is quite strong. Certainly stronger than Turkey, as they proved in their 3-0 victory against them. And Switzerland, I think, is a bit of a non-threat to them. Wales could be a threat, but I do think Italy has just generally got a better squad than Wales. So that's why they're winning that one. Wales is second because they're second best squad. They got to the semi-finals of the Euro 2016. So I would expect them not to go tanking badly. So I do think that they'll come second. Switzerland, well, looks to be better than Turkey and... Well, Turkey lost 3 now, so they can't really be that high. Now, these were made just in advance before the Scotland-Czech Republic game. So, that is why Scotland's higher. But, um, yeah. So, Group B with Belgium at the fir in first place. Now, Belgium has a quite a strong squad. Some very good players. Kevin De Bruyne, Romelu Lukaku, Thibaut Courtois. They... Stand quite a good chance, I think, and their squad is much better than certainly Finland and Russia. Denmark might be a issue for them, but it looks like Ericsson's not going to be able to play the rest of the tournament, sadly. So I don't think Denmark really, without him, have much of a strong squad. So it looks to be Belgium easily winning that group and Denmark the best of the rest. Finland and Russia might fight it out, but uh, I think... Um, I think Russia will be awful. Same with Finland. Um, Netherlands winning Group C. So, yes, I do think the Netherlands will win Group C because they have a much stronger squad than certainly North Macedonia, who are first-time qualifiers. Ukraine were giving them some issues. So, potentially, they might take their place. But I do think, on a squad basis... Unless Ukraine can be very consistent, I think the Netherlands will win the group. Austria, good squad, better than Ukraine and North Macedonia, but not really much in the Netherlands. I mean, what, they've got David Alaba and a few others? Not the strongest. Ukraine's third. I mean, this was also before the Netherlands-Ukraine match, so maybe I would have um, put Ukraine second, thinking about it. They've got some good players, Yarmolenko, um, ETC, so, yeah, maybe... the. Maybe them second, but um, I put them down as f third here, so I'll go with my gut and say they're third. North Macedonia fourth. Yeah, they really got panned against Austria, really, didn't they? So, yeah, I, d I don't think I don't think they're going to be much of a threat, and I don't think they will qualify for the next round. Group D. We got England, the Free Lions, winning the group with Scotland second as well. So I do think England will win the group. I don't think it will be that um, that far apart of a gap as Czech Republic do look to be quite good. However, 
I do think when you look lower down the rankings of the group, the third and fourth place, I do think that Croatia would be miles better than Scotland. So, yeah, I think looking back at that, I wouldn't put Scotland second because they got stormed by Czech Republic. So I'm not going to go, oh my God, that I'm going to say that I would put Czech Republic second, Scotland fourth and Croatia third. So I would shuffle the pack a bit with that. And in Group E, Spain winning it. I think they'll still win it. They did look a bit um, lacklustre in their performance against Sweden, but um, it's Spain and they never really flop, to be honest. So I do think Spain will win that group. Poland second. Yeah, well, they apparently got beaten by Slovakia. I didn't watch the game, but mm, maybe not. But they've got Lewandowski, one of the best strikers in the world, and she, a decent goalie in... Um, is it Chesney? Someone like that. But they have a very good goalie. So I do think that they'll do all right. Sweden, third, yeah, well, just a bit average, aren't they? they? They never seem to do really badly, but they never seem to do that good either. So, yeah, uh, and Slovakia, just not much of a threat. Portugal winning Group F and France coming second. Now, this one is probably controversial because, of course, France won the last Euros. No, France won the World Cup, of course. Then Portugal won the last Euros, and that's one of the reasons why I put them top, is they won the last Euros. In 2019, they won the Nations League, which was the last major international tournament. So they've got the um, momentum, if you like. Not really momentum, because it's been a few years since, but they do have some momentum from that. Um, France, of course, second. They won the World Cup. You can't really say, like, discount them. Germany won the World Cup before them, so, you know, still a lot of a threat. They've won quite a few World Cups, and their squad's quite good. And Hungary is just, you know, they've not got Puskas anymore, have they? So they just don't have the threat level. So Portugal, I think, will, st will squeeze a win at the top of that group, and France, I think, will be second quite close. And I think there'll be a bit of a drop-off between France and Germany because I would say that France is probably a better squad than Germany. So, yeah. Third place qualifiers. Now, this does, of course, put a Germany, Croatia, Ukraine and Sweden as my third place qualifiers, as I've told you. And I do think Germany will um, easily get it. They'll easily get enough points for the third place qualification. Um... Yeah, and, oh no, yeah, no, no, because the way the qualifiers work, the third place qualifiers, is the third place teams with the most points. I think Germany will get a fair few points, even though they're in a hard group, but they've got a very good squad. Croatia, maybe, I'm taking a bit of a punt on that, really. Same with Ukraine, but they did, you know, show the goods almost against the Netherlands, and um, almost bit them on the ass, so, yeah, Sweden... Like I say, they're a bit average, but I think you have to say they would get out of the group stage. I don't I don't think you could say that they'd get knocked out of the group stage. I think they would advance the next stage. Now, the next round, the round of 16. We have Belgium, Germany, Italy, Austria, Portugal, Ukraine, Scotland, Poland, Spain, Croatia, England, France, Netherlands, Sweden, Wales, Denmark, and but yeah, so that leaves us with the quarterfinals now of Belgium, Italy, Portugal, Poland, Spain, France, and Netherlands, Wales. So let me just explain that. So the round of 16, I do think that Belgium will pip Germany at the post. They've got a good squad, and I think they, I think Germany at the moment is a bit in decline, and I think Belgium is stagnant but more on the up than on the down so that's where i put them italy beating austria well look at the squads look at their pedigree in this competition their history in this competition i think you'd have to say that they'd advance portugal versus ukraine they've got ronaldo they won the last euros <laughs> good squads bruno fernandez as well yeah they'll beat ukraine easily scotland versus poland We've got Poland advancing. I mean, Portugal didn't... Um, not Portugal. Scotland didn't show the goods the other day. So, 
Poland would beat them. They've got Lewandowski and Scotland is got a team of average players. Poland have average players, but some world class like Lewandowski and their goalkeeper is very good as well. Spain versus Croatia and Spain would advance. Spain would advance. Yeah, uh, Croatia is just an aging side, and I think Spain, although they although they have shuffled the pack with their manager of recent times, I do think that they'll advance there. England versus France. France advancing. I think France is a very good side. England is as well, but it's not the talent's not managed well. We play as if we have major defending talent when we really have major attacking talent. We're far too conservative for the players we have, so I do think France will beat us there because they have attacking talent and defending talent, and we just won't be able to get any goals and they'll just fly them past us. Netherlands versus Sweden. Netherlands winning. Again, Sweden's average. Netherlands, good history in this competition. Good side as well. Wales versus Denmark. Wales advancing. Got to the semi-finals of the last Euros. Decent side. Couple of really good players like Gareth Bale. Although he may, hasn't really been in the best form lately. I do think he's a great player. And, and we have Italy. Portugal. France. And the Netherlands advancing. Now, I think that Italy, with their history in this tournament, will go further than the quarterfinals. I think Belgium has a very good squad, but they just don't seem to have the organisation. And I think Italy does, and that's their strong point. Portugal, they won the last Euros. So, in their squads, they had, I think, I think they have 11 of the same players from the squad that won the Euros last time. So... Yeah, they'll be good. They'll be good against Poland. Spain versus France. France winning. It's France. They won the last World Cup. Very, very good squad. Netherlands versus Wales. Netherlands winning. Very good squad again. I think they'll win. And Wales, although they got to the semis last time, Netherlands have the history in this competition, winning it and going all the way several times. Wales doesn't. Semi-finals. Italy versus Portugal. Portugal winning. Italy, good organisation, good side. Portugal have some world-class players, though. Bruno Fernandes, um, Cristiano Ronaldo, and um, a few other very good players as well. Uh, so I do think that they'll beat them. France versus Netherlands. Netherlands winning. Yeah, I do think Netherlands will beat France because they have had some issues with pettiness in their team. And I feel like as the tournament goes on, they will get more serious and the French culture, not to sound xenophobic or anything, is quite cutthroat in that if someone insults you, you go two times back at them. So I'd, I do think that the Netherlands will win because of how the pettiness has started between Mbappe and Giroud. And um, I just think that may get worse to the point that it puts the concentration off a bit and the Netherlands advance. So that leaves us with a final of Portugal versus the Netherlands. Yes, I do think Portugal, in fact, will win the Euros. Now, as I've micro explains there, I do think Portugal very good side. They've got the best player in the world, in my opinion, the best player ever, Cristiano Ronaldo, and a very good player at the moment in Bruno Fernandes. A good squad. The manager's all right as well. They've won it last time. With 11 of the same players. What's to say they can't win it again? The Netherlands in the final. Like I said, the issue with pettiness. That gets them to the final because they'll beat France. I do think it'll be um, tight though. I do think a 2-1 victory to Portugal will be the result. I don't see them keeping a clean sheet against the Netherlands. And I do think they'll be able to hit them. But I do think Portugal will have the firepower to beat them. And keep them out from scoring more than once and that is my prediction for the euros thanks for watching if you enjoyed please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content on this channel as weekly videos from this series and uh, yeah give me your predictions for the euros down below it's a good tournament so far and i want to see what who you think will win it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week peace